everyone welcome back to a brand new youtube video i hope you're all doing really well and if you are new here welcome to my youtube channel so for today's video i really wanted to jump back into the styling videos i feel like i haven't really done any this year i've just been giving you so many vlogs so i thought we would go back to old school styling videos and share some outfit inspiration with you i picked up a new belt from celine a triumph black belt in the size small I am so in love with this. Compared to my tan belt, the small is a lot tinier. It's a little bit thinner. The buckle is a little bit smaller. The tan, it's probably double the size thickness and the buckle is double the size. So it's a little bit more of a statement. I wanted a black belt that was a little bit more discreet, quite simple. It can just add into my outfits really easily and a little bit more effortlessly. But I've got six outfits to show you today, all completely different, different occasions, different vibes. They can all be kind of dressed up or down from day to night styling the Celine belt. You guys probably know by now that my kind of ethos with my styling is to invest in luxury accessories and mix them into high street and kind of like higher end high street clothing. I really like to rewear my wardrobe as much as possible. Some of the items I'm gonna show you in this video are very old, some of them are new. I will link everything below, even if it's old, I will link a similar item so you can kind of get the look if you want to. So with that being said, let's get into the outfits. Outfit number one is something that I come back to time and time again in spring, autumn. It's kind of that really nice transitional style of outfit that is really versatile. You can layer this up, but it still feels quite feminine and quite girly. And it's a little bit different to just wearing trousers. So I have got on a cream slip skirt really simple skirt this one is so old from zara i bought this when i was at college so that would have been oh my goodness eight years ago um so i've really had this for a very long time and i love it it's just so perfect it's the perfect length for me i'm quite short i love the slit on the leg i wear this in the evening in the day i just love it and to bring it down a little bit obviously it's still very cold outside but we do get those kind of sunny days and in the next four to five weeks, I probably will start wearing things like this. So I paired it with a black knit from Under the Stories, just to bring in those darker elements. If it was height of the summer, I'd probably wear a cream tank top or a white tank top or something a little bit lighter. And then I am gonna add on my Celine belt. So I thought I would show you how I've actually tucked this in because I feel like tucking in a chunky knit into a slip skirt can be really difficult to not get like a load of bunching under here. So there's two ways I would do it. Either tuck it into your bra and then bag it down and just tuck that tiny end bit into the top. Or I tuck in the bottom half of the jumper and just make sure it's really, really flat across the sides. I mean, this is a little bit bulky. I have done this very rushed. Um, but then I will just bring it out the top and just bag it up a little bit. So it just bags out a little bit, creates a really nice layer. It just looks a little bit more effortless. Obviously this skirt doesn't have any belt loops. So I'm just gonna place my belt where I want it to go. Just kind of bridging that gap between the slip skirt and the black jumper. And immediately the belt has kind of created the outfit. It's added in that extra element. It's kind of broken up the two. It looks like an actual outfit now, rather than just a jumper tucked into a skirt. And then I am going to add on a couple of layers. So I've already got my Chloe Lauren trainers on just to add a nice little bit of cream. I love these trainers so much. They are so comfortable. And I really like how the cream is kind of the bottom half of the outfit. And then I'm gonna pop on my leather jacket. This is from Kiwi & Co. I've had this for years as well. I absolutely love this so much. It's such an effortless leather jacket design. And then I would probably style this with my Chloe Mini C, some sunnies, and there we go. Just a really simple, transitional, everyday look with the Celine belt just really brings it all together. I love the fact that this outfit looks quite slinky, quite feminine, but then the leather jacket, the leather details, the belt just kind of really give it that edge, which I love. Outfit number two is still kind of going along the lines of transitional vibes. This is something that I would probably wear in like Paris on a city break in the spring. I feel like the stripes and the loafers and the jacket are very Parisian. I've got these black leather shorts on. These are actually a little bit too big for me. So I either, 
if I wear them without a belt, I roll the back of the shorts like so, um, which just gives them a little bit more hold at the top. And when you're wearing a jacket, which I often do with these shorts, then it just kind of cinches in the fabric a little bit and makes them look a little bit smaller, but you can't tell because there's a jacket on covering the back. But in an instance like this, where I've got a belt, I'm gonna just add the belt on through the belt loops and this is gonna really cinch in and pull the shorts up and in and also just add that really nice focal point with the gold buckle. So these shorts are super old from Warehouse. I've had these for years. This is an H&M striped knit and then I've got my Prada loafers on as well just to give it that kind of preppy, fancier kind of look. Next, I'm gonna add on a jacket. This one is from Mango. I am so obsessed with this jacket. I love the fit of it, I love the shape. And I just absolutely love how this outfit looks. Effortless, very cool girl vibes. The Celine belt, contrasting with the stripes, the gold buttons. I've also popped on my Dior brooch onto this jacket just to give it a little bit of something else. I just love this look. And actually, this is something that I would probably wear now when it's cold, but just pop on a pair of tights just for a little bit more warmth. And then I would maybe wear it with knee-high boots or kind of like an ankle boot or even just my loafers still. I just love this look. It's kind of giving like schoolgirl, but I really like it. I just think it's really cute and preppy and yeah, just something a little bit different. Outfit number three is an everyday look that I tend to reach for all the time during the week. I often wear things like this in the evening when me and Jack are going to the pub for a drink or for dinner and it's just a little bit more casual. So this is also a really good example of how you don't need to wear black to add a black belt. So I am wearing denim blue jeans from Everlane. These are literally my favourite jeans ever. I love the fit of them. I did cut the bottoms off so they were my perfect length but I absolutely love these jeans. Then I've got a grey knit from Charlie London. I've actually got black shoes on, which I think really ties in with the belt. I do think it's quite an old fashioned thing of matching your shoes, your belt and your bag, but it can actually be very effective because it just ties in the whole look together. So for me, adding the belt just immediately creates that divide between the cosy knit and the more kind of structured jeans and then the loafers just bring in together all of that black. I'm actually gonna add a coat onto this look just because this is an outfit that I have been wearing a lot recently and I do wear it with this coat. So those kind of really chilly days when you don't need to wear loads of layers, but you just need a nice knit and a really cozy coat. This one is from And Other Stories and I absolutely love it. I never thought I would really be a lover of grey, but honestly, this, grey coat has been worn so many times but this is an outfit that i would reach for day to day just an everyday easy look jeans and a jumper but those details like the belt and the loafers and a nice bag just really kind of elevate it and make it feel a little bit more put together this next outfit is a little bit more glam maybe something that i would wear in the evening or if i had a really lovely occasion in the day this dress is absolutely phenomenal. I am so in love with it. It's from an independent brand called The Nouveau Edit and oh my god, I just love it. It is this beautiful kind of pleated, very issy pleated vibes, really really long sleeves and a really long dress. I just love it so much. It's so gorgeous. I always take this on holiday with me as just like an easy throw on dress. It is so stunning. So I'm gonna style this up for daytime because it's very easy to style this for the nighttime. I would just add a pair of heels and that's it. For the daytime, I wanna show you how I would just dress this down a little bit, but still staying quite smart. Firstly, I'm obviously gonna add my belt and I really love adding a belt to a dress in the day. I feel like it just brings it down a bit. I don't know what it is about it, but for me, I just feel like a belt on a dress in the daytime dresses it down a bit, especially when you've got a dress like this, which is quite slinky, quite long, and it feels quite evening. A belt for me just kind of gives it that daytime feel. And then instead of heels, which I would wear in the evening, 
I'm gonna opt for a pair of knee-high heeled boots. These are my Under the Stories ones that you guys absolutely love. They are such a little heel, they are perfect. They've got a kind of squared off oval toe. I just adore these. And I really love how a knee-high boot looks with a really long dress. I don't know why. I feel like you can't even really tell that it's a knee-high boot sometimes. It just looks like an ankle boot. But for me, knowing that I'm wearing a knee-high boot, it just gives me that like more chic, effortless vibe. I don't know why. I also really do think that when you've got a long dress with a slit and you're wearing a knee-high boot, especially in the winter, it just gives you that little bit extra coverage on your leg. And you could obviously wear tights with this in the daytime if you wanted. Keep warm. That is something that I always do. I am then going to add on a black coat from Because of Alice. And I love this coat so much. It has so many beautiful factors to it. The length, the tailoring, the buttons are asymmetric. It's just so gorgeous. So by adding the coat, which is actually the same length as the dress, it's really effortless. It just kind of looks very seamless. I think sometimes if you have a long tailored coat that finishes kind of like by the knee or by the shin, it kind of cuts off the outfit and it's too many layers. So having a coat that matches the length of the dress I think is perfect when you've got a long one. Or go for a really cropped boxy kind of like tweed boucle jacket like I showed earlier, that would also be gorgeous. But for the daytime this is exactly the type of outfit that I love to wear. And you can kind of see the belt just really draws the eye to the centre, it cinches you in, you're not kind of getting lost in the outfit, there is some element of detail here with the buckle so it's not just all black and just getting lost and hidden. It kind of brings you to the dress a little bit more. I love this outfit so much, honestly. I think it's one of my absolute favorite, fail-safe, dressy daytime looks. I just love it. I feel so comfortable, so warm, and I just feel really smart in this, really bougie. <laughs> outfit number five, I'm actually following on from the previous one, just because this is a very simple little hack that I have for when it's really cold outside, maybe you're going shopping or you know you're gonna be outside all day but you still want to look chic, you don't wanna just chuck on your coat and that be it. I love to wear my coat completely done up. So for example, with this outfit, I could be wearing Adenola leggings, a really simple cashmere turtleneck jumper, just a really simple look. But by adding the coat done up, and then the belt over the top. I feel like it just completely elevates your look. You could be wearing the most simple outfit underneath, just super comfy, super cozy, but as soon as you add the belt to the coat, it just really gives it that chic outerwear look. I am so obsessed with the vibe of this. I just think it looks so cool. And it almost makes your coat look more high-end. If you have like a really old coat knocking around in your wardrobe and you're thinking of getting rid of it, maybe try styling it like this because you might find that by adding a really nice belt or adding something to the middle and doing up the coat, it just gives it that really luxe, chic, evening feel. I feel like I could be off to a really chic evening event or like a meeting or shopping on Bond Street. <laughs> Yeah, that's the kind of vibes this outfit gives me. So, just a really good hack if you want to mix up your outerwear, add a belt. And finally, look number six, a very chic workwear kind of vibe. This is actually something I would probably wear if I worked in an office. Really chic tailored trousers and a gorgeous fitted shirt. This is all from Under the Stories. I am so in love with both of these pieces and adding them together, I just think looks incredible. They're both of this kind of wool blend cotton, so they've got that really lovely wintry feel to them. And I am gonna add on my Celine belt just to add a little bit of something else. Gives it a little bit more of a smarter edge to the shirt and trousers. But of course, I don't work in an office. So if I did, I'd probably wear this with like heeled boots or a loafer or something like that. But I don't. So this is the kind of outfit I'd wear in London if I wanted to look smart for meetings, running around. But I would most likely wear it with trainers because 
I don't have to wear a smart shoe. So I was thinking either my Chloe Lauren trainers or my Acne Manhattan sneakers, which I haven't worn for such a long time, but I've had these trainers since my 19th birthday. And let me tell you, these are well worn. I love these trainers because they are white, but they've got this really gorgeous, like beigey, mushroomy shade to them. And they are so, so platformed. They are super, super chunky, it's super high. So I don't reach for them all the time anymore, but they work really well when I'm wearing long suit trousers because they add a little bit of height to my leg. And for me, being five foot three is absolutely perfect. I need all the height I can get. So for me, a really long tailored trouser works so well with a really chunky shoe. And it just brings the outfit down. I'd probably wear this with a white or cream bag, maybe a blazer on my shoulders or a long coat. And yeah, I'm all ready for the day. But how gorgeous does this outfit look with the belt? I am just so in love with these colors, the earthy tones, just beautiful. Okay, so that brings me to the end of today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your favorite outfit, one to six, down below. I would love to know which one was your favorite. So don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. I would love it. And follow me on Instagram, Pinterest. I'm over there all the time. I will leave all the links below if you haven't followed me already. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.